I'm about to go meet with a makeup artist called Nam Vo. And um, we kind of been chatting over Instagram for the last few months. And so I wanted to meet with her and uh, start to do a tutorial together. You know how like Lady Gaga calls her fans monsters? I guess Nam Vo has such a an amazingly engaged audience that she calls her fans or her audience dewy dumplings which I think is kind of cute <laughs> what's that saying I I, I don't sweat I glisten Rosie dumpling okay dumpling I you... have just a little bit of concealer on that's it okay I'm gonna use I never leave, and a tiny bit of eyebrows I never leave the house without is that your best like thing to do the yeah brows, brows and concealer and a, I think I've got a tiny bit of bronzer on. You look perfect. Wow. Well, you're about to be dewy to the next level. Good. <laughs> okay. So I'm using Believe's Moisture Balm and it's Korean slash Hungarian technology. And it's like a new makeup artist favorite. And for me, you know, as a makeup artist, I put on like 15 highlighters, this serum, that, this, and the other thing. And I need it to absorb really fast into the skin without being greasy. This is Tom Ford's Traceless Foundation Stick. I did two colors. Now I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Golden Glow, and I'm doing a little concoction. So you have to really get in there and like melt it like butter. Should not feel me Whenever I call people dumpling, I don't want them to think that I'm calling them chubby. It means <laughs> my... <laughs> Do you wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis? Like yeah. running what you do? Depends on how my skin is, but I often like to warm my skin up a little bit. I can get quite um, dull <laughs> and pasty. And um, you know, I've often got a friend that's visiting on my skin and so I always wear a little bit of coverage. So I'm gonna mix these two colors together and this is gonna go in your brow. You have really good eyelid real estate. Lots of lid, lots of space. Eyelid real estate. I've yeah. never heard that before. That is brilliant. It's true though. You do like I don't like I have like small Asian eyes, but you have lid. You have space and it's deep. So it's kind of like a makeup artist's dream. This is Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel and I really like it because it almost it separates your hair, but it's very sheer in color and it okay. holds. I noticed I was stalking your photos. You like your brows brushed up, right? Yeah. Okay, gotcha boo. That's a good brush, yeah. The secret to contour is you go from the corner of the mouth back towards the ear. And she has such high cheekbones, it's easy to see. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve you in right here. So it kind of creates that beautiful V shape that we all want. She's coming alive, she's coming alive. That's how I feel every morning <laughs> when I put bronzer on. I'm like, thank God for bronzer. So this is what I call cardio blending when you go really fast, you beat it in before it like saturates the skin. Cardio blending. Yeah. Gotta go fast and I'm sweating as I do it and burning calories. <laughs> I went in and I created the dimension and what I do now is I go and I slice everything in. So this is gonna get sharpened and cleaned out. So I go in here, I go in here, and I slice you in. I'm gonna go in, beat the shit out of it again, and just soften that line. So you still get that sharpness and that contour, but there's no hard lines. So the secret to like a really neutral, like easy on the eye look is I'm pulling the same colors that I use on your face into the eye. So it all, you, you'll see it repeated. Like the Chanel is as a bronzer. It's being used on your eyes. And then I'm gonna put hints of it on your lip as well. So all I'm doing is I'm going into the crease, buffing this color outwards, and just slightly putting a little bit of it on your lid. This is Parasol. And yeah. it's just this product, like these eyeshadows? Yeah, this is what they're known for. So they're called the Super Shock. And then I'm actually, yeah, feel it. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? It's kind of like a silky yeah. cushion. I know everybody and their mom knows this. This is Orgasm from NARS, but yes. it's a new. I got, uh, just got this. Oh, yeah, it's so pretty. So I'm going to use it on your eyes. Whenever a makeup artist does my eyes, I get so sleepy. I know it's relaxing, right? It's so relaxing having your makeup done. This is from Face Stockholm. I'm just putting it on the lid and kind of layering it on top of that orgasm. The thing about makeup is that it's all about layering. That's how you get 
multi-dimensional looks without looking flat. Okay, everybody, it's time for liquid eyeliner. What I like to do is I like to rest it almost on the eyelash so it like gets the base. This is bad gal bang. It's very dramatic. Can I try it on one eye and you of do course. the other one? Of course. It looks great. Look at I the difference between the two eyes. Wow. This is so relaxed. Oh, no. You're about to get a glowgasm. You need to okay. wake up. Okay, honey. This is not stripper glitter. Imagine like a spotlight in the middle of your eyelid. Yeah. I'm just gonna tap it right in the middle. And why do you put it into the center of the eye? Because I want it to look like just a spotlight. Like when you look down and the light hits your eyelid, it just glimmers right there. Oh yeah, it just gives it more dimension yeah. and a bit of pop. So I'm gonna use this clay de peau. This is Ritual Defeat. So I'm gonna go in the highest of your cheekbone and a little bit towards your temp temple. So I'm gonna mix these two together. Okay, ready? This is gonna be very satisfying. So face up. You look like you have a spotlight coming from your cheekbone. Then I'm gonna do my two Yves Saint Laurent blushes. Remember blush, I always tell people two fingers away from the nose, right in the roundness of your cheeks, a smile. So this is the apple of the cheek, I just go up. Because your lips are already so rosy and I want all the color in the center of the lip, I'm gonna kind of blur out all the lines. I'm gonna conceal your lips, okay? Then I'm gonna go in with Fenty, and you wanna choose a very nude color. I'm doing like nudie peach. Mm -hmm. This is called Up to No Good. So this is from Korea. It's called an Airy Ink Velvet, and it's a really unique texture because it's super pigmented, but it's almost like fluffy like a mousse. I'm gonna do just the center of your lip. So it looks like you just sucked on popsicle. Ta-da! Dewy Dumpling Duo. <laughs> yeah. We did it, Boo Boo. Thanks. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank You're the you. best. I had so, so much fun. Yeah.